Yeah, you know, I mean, like I told, like, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm from a small hood in Marcy. I come from a project, I come from nothing, like, people are very... Right now we got Jim Jeffries. Um, this is uh, Donald Trump. Jim Jeffries on Donald Trump. Let's see. We ain't react to him in a minute. Yeah. For a couple of weeks. Freaking dog. And then you got Donald Trump. Now. Every time I've recorded a special, the other specials I've recorded in America have been in New York, San Francisco, and Boston. And everyone's called me a fucking pussy. With my liberal agenda. Well, I'm in fucking Nashville right now. <laughs> and if you want to shoot me, Now's the perfect time. Was this the yes, same place as the garbage show? I guess. I think we're good. I think we're good. Isn't it sad that the country's gotten to the stage that when you buy theatre tickets, you go, oh, get, get ones on the aisle so we can run. Wow. Everyone wanted to get in the middle. We're like, no, no, you're sitting ducks in the middle. You'll... Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. So anyway. Donald Trump. Now, don't get me wrong. He's a lot of fun. He is. Yeah. There's, and there's a little bit of me, there's a little bit of me that when, uh, like, that thinks, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it and see how fucking crazy shit can get. <laughs> do you feel like the people that has beat did that? I said, fuck it, let's just make him president. The people, the people that what? The people that be. The people behind the scenes. Um, I said, fuck it, let's just make him president. And nah, I don't think so. I think he legitimately got voted in. I think that um, the electoral college is real. Like, and um, he actually really did get voted in. However, I do feel that um, if Trump uh, and Congress want to make a change, then... There's people higher than them. This is just my opinion. There's people that are higher than them that if the change that you're trying to make is going to affect them, yeah. then they're going to be like, hell no. Like, you're crazy. For instance, that's how, if you look more into the assassination of JFK, it will kind of kind of tell you that, you know? But um, I know people are going to say, oh, oh, OJ, shut the fuck up. Crazy. But whatever. But, um... Yeah, I think I think Trump really got like legitly voted in. Like, I think I think the system is like well, like the voting system is is real. Yeah. Because he's just because what happens is he says really simple shit that means nothing, and then fucking dummies, right? If you've ever said this sentence, I like him because he's a straight talker. You're as dumb as shit. <laughs> Press pause. Um, obviously we got a lot of Trump supporters in our in our um in our subs uh, subscribers, and um, <laughs> and like people always say like um. You know what, let, let Jim say, I, I gotta hear what Jim says, like, so I can see where he's going with this. Because someone says something simple that you understand doesn't mean they're a straight talker. You can say complex thing and be telling the truth. They're like, because he goes, I'm going to make America great again. And you're like, I got every word in that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna build a wall. I have a wall at home. <laughs> <laughs> look how you look. You're <laughs> a straight talker. <laughs> and then he just 
say shit that you know, it won't happen. Gotta build a wall, well, Mexico's gonna pay for it. Who? Well, I haven't heard a Mexican yet go, oh yeah, we've got this. What are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That's just saying shit. He's like a kid running for class president who's just walking around going, and we're gonna have two lunches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> two lunches And you ask him How you gonna do that We're you just gonna get, get it God damn it in every classroom Next to football rolls <laughs> But here, here's where it doesn't get fun And that's all It's good fun But here's where it's not fun Right What he does is he preys on fear as soon as he, in the beginning it was, oh, Mexicans are coming over and they're raping. And there was a, there was a terrorist attack and he went, oh, fuck, I'll go after the Muslims. Ah, oh, we should kill the families of Muslims, which, by the way, you're not allowed to do. Uh, and, then it's just, and then he started saying, after the Paris attacks, we, 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 should, we should put every Muslim on a register. And we shouldn't let any more refugees come in from Syria. And the Muslims that live here on a, refu uh, on a register, it, you... That means Izzy's win. As soon as he says that, Izzy's a fucking one. Right? Because their plan to shoot people in Paris, that's not a, their end plan. They didn't kill 128 people and go, ah, well, that's that done. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a recruitment tool. And it can only, the recruitment tool can only work if hate is bred. Right, so what he does is he says, oh, we've got to ban them. We're not going to let any more in the country. And the ones here have to be on a register. Now, you're a 16-year-old boy or girl that's a Muslim living in this country. You've lived your entire life in this country. You've always considered yourself American. And then all of a sudden, someone who could be your president says, you are not welcome here and that you should be put on a register. Now, that kid, how fucking quickly do you think that kid could be radicalized now? Before, it wasn't going to be radicalized at all. So what he's trying to do is, he's trying to defeat hate with hate. And hate doesn't beat hate. It's never fucking beaten hate. It just makes more hate. Now this might be the most hippie thing that ever comes out of my mouth. <laughs> but it's true. The only thing that can beat hate is love. Now love doesn't always beat hate. Right? Shout out to Mother the King, man. It, go ahead, go ahead. it doesn't always beat hate, but it does do something, right? Now, think about your own personal life. Think about a person who hates you and you hate them. From now on, just show that person nothing but love. Now, I'm not saying for a second that that person will start loving you. They'll probably still fucking hate you. But one thing will happen. Eventually, everyone will see them as the asshole. Don't be the asshole, America. Don't be the asshole. Well said. And um, uh, this is the reason why I'm not uh, a really big fan of politics. Because, um, for instance, if you look at like their debates and shit mm -hmm. like that, if you're a Republican, right, and I'm a, I'm a Democrat, right, the whole shit is basically all... We did what was best for America, or we're going to do what's best for America. And I'll be like, no, I'm doing what's best for America, and me and my team is going to do what's best for America. They're both saying the same shit, right? So, and not only are they both saying the same shit, they're dividing the country, right? Mm -hmm. And if you divide the country, then what's going to happen? People are going to headbutt all the time. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be somebody on this side. There's always going to be somebody on this side, right? So... What Jim is saying is 100% right because it's like with politics you've never seen in my opinion like people like you know what let's just have a thoughtful conversation about this and let's express like like let's give like love to the other like uh, side. It's always yo I hate Obama. Yo I hate Bush. Mm -hmm. Yo I hate Trump. Mm -hmm. It's always uh a, a, it's always you feeling uh, a certain way against the other candidate. Mm -hmm. Like, 
a lot of people don't respect Trump. A lot of people don't respect Obama. A lot of people don't respect. When was the last president that you know of that some that like mostly good people said things like like most people said good things about? People hated Obama. People hated Trump. People hated Bush. People hated all these people. So it's like exactly what he's saying is true. Like our country. Y'all probably don't want to hear it. Our country is based off of racism. Our country is based off of hating. It is what it is. Like, you know? And um, people are going to be like, oh, you're biased and this and that. Oh, fucking nigger is always victim blaming and shit like that. But it's the truth, bro. Like, I'm telling you. But y'all can believe whatever y'all want to believe in, man. I don't care. Yeah, I do. Don't trust our opinion, man. Yeah, we out. Yeah, you know, I mean... Like I got told like no man, no man, no man, no. I'm I'm from a small hood in Marcy. I come from a project. I come from nothing. Like people are very, 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 um, very poor. That's where I came from. And to be not only a star in your neighborhood.